Hello, friends. We are going to do a little bit more with Google Drawings today. So I'm going to go back into my Google Drive where I kept my drawing I did earlier. You can either navigate to the folder where you have it, search for it through your list if you don't have it in a folder, or if you know the name of it, click up here and search in your drive. I want to make a copy of this so I don't mess up the one I already did. That The easiest way to do that is to right click or two finger tap, go to make a copy and Google makes a copy for you right here. I'm going to change the name inside. You can do that inside here. If you do a right click, you can click rename or in your drawing or whatever document you're making you can change it up in the corner. Both work just fine. Now I'm going to straighten him out just a little bit and move his little lightning scar where I want it. I want him to be a little bit smaller because I want to make a body for him today. So I'm going to select the whole thing at once. You can see I did that to select the whole thing at once. And then I can change the size or shape as I want to. Put him where I want, and now he needs a torso. I'm going to go into my shapes, select the torso shape I want, and there we go. Now he's got a torso. He needs a neck, because right now he's just a floating head on top of a torso. I'm going to give him a little neck right here and change the color of it so it closer matches his head and change the border so that it's a little bit closer. Now it looks a little funny with it in front of the head. So I'm going to do a two finger tap right on top of this shape. Make sure that's the one that has the blue line around it. Go to order, click send to back. And now it's behind both of the other shapes. I want him to have some arms. So I'll go back into my shapes and find a shape that looks like what I want it to be. I'm going to go with this one. Right there, looks like it's coming out of his shoulders like arms are supposed to do. Now, again, this one looks a little bit funny unless you want to have the baseball type shirt, which then you got it. If you don't, you can right click, go to order, send to back, and now it's behind the other pieces. And then you can move it around to make it exactly where you want it to be. I'm going to do a um, another one of these, but I want it to be exactly like this one. So I am going to, on my keyboard, press Control D. I have to make sure I've highlighted this picture or this part of the, the shape. Then Control D on my keyboard, and I have two of them. I just duplicated the shape. I need to turn it the other way. Two finger tap or right click, rotate, flip horizontally, and now I can place it where I want it to be. Again, I need to make this one go to the back. If I go into order and just click send backward, it will send it behind the one piece I just did right before this. So it's not necessarily going to be behind everything. Now I can go and do a second um, piece to make the lower arm and all the different parts that I want. I can make legs, I can um, make hands, anything I need to do. I can even make hair if I want to. And then when I'm finished, I can click and drag over my whole piece, right click and go to group. Now all of these pieces are treated like one picture so I can move it around as I want to. If I ever wanna change any of them, it's super easy. Right click or two finger tap, ungroup, and now I can change each individual piece as I want to. Happy computing.